يسألونك عن الأنفال قل الأنفال لله والرسول فاتقوا الله وأصلحوا ذات بينكم وأطيعوا الله ورسوله إن كنتم مؤمنين إنما المؤمنون الذين إذا ذكر الله وجلت قلوبهم وإذا تليت عليهم آياته زادتهم إيمانا وعلى ربهم يتوكلون الذين يقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون أولئك هم المؤمنون حقا لهم درجات عند ربهم ومغفرة ورزق كريم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صلي وسلم وزد وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأزواجه أمهات المؤمنين وعلى من اتبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين uh, My dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, الحمد لله we decided to revive uh, the uh, مقصدك تفسير again uh, A lot of you have been asking uh, to resume that uh, although I have been uh, busy actually with the writing uh, of the lectures, uh, but yet you want uh, to uh, uh, have it also broadcasted, inshallah, bi uh, ta'ala, bi We will begin uh, uh, with the maqasidic uh, tafsir, inshallah, uh, again today. Uh, and also uh, take your questions at the same time so you can always uh, call as well uh, 303-500-5101 you can use that number for uh, both uh, the uh, whatsapp and also the uh, uh, I think the uh, uh, regular line which is uh, the local brothers Hopefully we, we rebooted the WhatsApp, so hopefully this will work, inshallah. And uh, maybe we can get one brother uh, or one caller to try uh, the regular and the WhatsApp as well, inshallah. Uh, brothers and uh, sisters in Islam, alhamdulillah, I just uh, want to let you know that uh, we finished uh, part, uh, volume two of the Maqasidic Tafsir, and it's out. Uh, it's available actually on my website for free. Uh, you can download the PDF. Uh, also, uh, if you want to buy it, uh, it's available on Amazon. Uh, and Alhamdulillah, all the proceeds go to CMCC and Salahuddin Future Academy, both uh, helping out our projects. Uh, the uh, volume three is already also done writing, and it's at the hands of the editors. Uh, where I explained uh, the twins, Al-Baqara uh, and Al Imran, because they are twins. Uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala ordained for them to be together, uh, next to one another in this world in the Mus'haf. Al-Baqara uh, then Al Imran, and also uh, based on Hadith Abi Umama, فإنهما يأتيان يوم القيامة. Uh, both of them, Al-Baqarah and Al-Imran, they will come together uh, 
uh, on the day of judgment as well to intercede on behalf of those who uh, acted upon the commands uh, contained in them. Uh, right now I'm busy writing the uh, signs, so the twins then the signs. Uh, and that's the beauty of uh, the evolution of the uh, Quranic scripture, especially the first seven chapters. Uh, uh, they do in a way form uh, uh, a manuscript in how to uh, revive and rebuild uh, the Ummah again. Uh, you see, Al-Baqarah and Ala Imran uh, erect and formed uh, the believing character. Uh, a character that believes uh, without any doubt uh, attestation they attest uh, to uh, the existence of Allah his lordship uh, his names and attributes and they single him out in worship and they also attest to the other uh, elements of the unseen the angels the books the day of judgment and and, and so forth um, and they comply wholeheartedly they they always say sama'na wa ata'na to the commands of Allah so al baqara formed that uh, al amran shield or shielded the or protected or immune that character from defects uh, from doubts and uh, uh, pursuing whims and desires uh, which in a way would uh, destroy the attestation and the uh, uh, compliance tasdiq wa tatbiq then in nisa wal ma'ida are two signs <laughs> and that's what I'm, I'm, I've been working on uh, writing this signs the signs uh, that this character is built up properly uh, that uh, you have morality, you have uh, character, good character, uh, and 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 the one uh, uh, character that, that we must have as individuals and as communities is justice and justice for all, and protect the rights of the weak, and this is why, by the way. Uh, the chapter is called the Nisa because we know at the time of the revelation in Nisa the women uh, they were uh, abused and oppressed by the uh, social system. Uh, another sign too is the uh, protection. Uh, I'm sorry, is the uh, believers fulfilling uh, the covenants? Uh, they. Uh, uh, satisfy the terms and the conditions of the contracts, uh, they uh, oblige themselves or bind themselves to uh, uh, fulfill. Uh, that is why Surah Al-Ma'idah talks about these contracts. Ya ayyuhal amanu awfu bil O ye who believe, uh, fulfill your covenants. Uh, then comes the uh, uh, the two reminders, the reminders. So the the twins, the signs, the reminders. Uh, two chapters, Mecca. They come right after those set of twos. Uh, I call them the reminders. Why? Because they are there to remind you with the most important contract which is Tawheed, Al-An'am and Al-A'raf. And uh, uh, they elaborate uh, on the uh, history of Tawheed and the history uh, how people manipulated Tawheed. Like the, the, the Arabs, uh, they assume that Tawheed is just to um, uh, admit Allah the creator, Allah the nourisher, Allah the provider. Uh, but uh, meanwhile, uh, they still uh, identified intermediaries between them and Allah, which is their idols. Besides, they ended up uh, legislating 
foolish things um, and consider it part of their uh, religion. Uh, so Tawheed <coughs> is not only the uh, acceptance of Allah's Lordship, uh, rather it is the uh, entire package. Allah's Lordship, names and attributes, and also uh, Allah's uh, worship, brothers and sisters in Islam. So Al-A'raf, uh, uh, the, the, the next chapter, they... They, they simply, uh, uh, this chapter, it, it simply uh, uh, re-emphasized the message of Al-An'am, which is the concept of Tawheed. But it also tells you that it's time to make up your mind. Don't be wishy-washy. Don't be in the middle, uh, in between. Uh, then comes in the last set of two, which is the two boot together. The boot together. I call them the boot together. Al-Anfal uh, with Tawbah. They are put together, even without a separation, without Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim in the middle. And uh, amazing, Al-Anfal uh, talks about the first battle in Islam, and Tabuk talks about the last battle in Islam. Tawbah talks about the last battle in Islam. Al-Anfal uh, is uh, addressing the battle of Badr, the first battle. And uh, when the Muslims were outnumbered, were, were weak, and they were attacked and they only had to defend, uh, but uh, uh, Tabuk or uh, the battle of uh, uh, the chapter of Tawbah uh, talked about actually Muslims marching uh, to protect, to defend. Um, you know that concept, the best way to defend is to be on the attack. That's in a way uh, being defensive, uh, being on the attack. Uh, inshallah, I'm working on those. Uh, I'm still at the signs, uh, still the reminders, then the boot together. Uh, then, by the way, this conference in, in, uh, in Plainfield, and I hope uh, you guys can go and sign up for it. Uh, the uh, website, uh, we should make it available for you here. You can just go and check it out. Uh, is actually going to talk about uh, the, the three uh, psychologies. Uh, which is the three chapters, uh, Yunus, Hud, and Yusuf. This, this conference is about those three chapters, by the way. Yunus, Hud, and Yusuf, uh, inshallah, brothers and sisters in uh, Islam. Uh, let me share with you the, uh, the video so maybe you can know what... Remain steadfast as commanded. Authentic Ilm Mission presents... Three Days Ilm Conference, Tales from the Scripture, Friday, September 2 to September 4, 2022, Plainfield, New Jersey. Renowned speakers, Dr. Bilal Phillips, joining live, Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq, Sheikh Karim Abu Zaid, Sheikh Abu Usama al Zahabi. Daniel Hakikaju, Sheikh Ibrahim Zidan, Sheikh Ukasa Kamini, Imam Ibrahim Al Huri, Sheikh Haris Ghafoor, Ustad Najib, Bazaar with Islamic books and clothing and more, food area and more stuff for kids. Please join us Friday, September 2 to September 4, 2022, Plainfield, New Jersey. Please visit for more details, www.ilmcon.org slash Plainfield. Uh, so this is the website right here, brothers and sisters in Islam, if you wanna go and, and sign up for the conference ahead of time, because I'm telling you, we're getting, uh, alhamdulillah, we're a lot of people are signing up, bifadlillah, by the grace of Allah, uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, so the conference actually is going to be centered around three chapters, uh, which is the psychology of uh, uh, being vulnerable. Uh, you know, uh, uh, when Muslims, uh, encountered uh, the 
era of being oppressed. Uh, exactly right after the death of the uncle of the Prophet وسلم, and the death of Khadija, uh, the uh, level of persecution and harm the disbelievers and the polytheists uh, attempted to inflict upon the believers mounted, increased. Uh, now, during that time, uh, these three chapters were revealed, Yunus, Hud, and Yusuf, uh, chapters 10, 11, and 12. Each chapter conveys a certain message. Normally, brothers and sisters in Islam, people who are oppressed, like Muslims now, the people who are committed to the religion, people who are uh, uh, weak, vulnerable, they may end up developing three psychologies, and these three psychologies are very counterproductive to the work of Dawah. The first psychology is despair. Don't give up. Keep working for the sake of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't let go. Uh, you're, you're doing this for the sake of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, you are doing this for the sake of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So why do you stop? Chapter Yunus addressed that. And, and this is, you know, that the whole conference is about the Quran. You see? We want to go back to the Quran. And by the way, when I say the Quran, brothers and sisters in Islam, you know me by now that I'm talking the Quran and Sunnah. Uh, you know, of, uh, uh, adopting the understanding of his Salaf, the, the, the righteous predecessors. Their understanding and their application of the Quran and Sunnah. Uh, uh, Yunus addresses the subject of despair. Uh, even the story of, of Yunus itself invites you to uh, reflect upon it. Yunus is Jana. What is the story of Jana? Jana or Yunus, uh, given his people uh, da'wah for years, uh, but the response was not uh, compatible with the amount of work that he put. Uh, so without taking permission from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, Prophet Yunus والسلام, decided to leave, to, to call it off. And, and we know what happened. He, he was thrown into the depth of the sea and uh, a whale swallowed him. And, and later on, uh, he was sent back to, to resume his work. Uh, again, brothers and sisters in Islam, we don't say that in a way to belittle Yunus والسلام, at all. Uh, this is... Uh, a message to uh, uh, all the enlightened followers of the prophets and the messengers that don't do like that. Not because uh, people are not accepting your message, not because the people accepting, uh, not responding that you give up. No, keep working, keep working, keep, uh, your, your goal is akhirah. Do, don't stop until you get to Jannah. Uh, that's the message here. Uh, uh, this is the beauty of it, inshallah, brothers and sisters in Islam. And uh, even when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam, if we read hadith uh, uh, Aisha radiallahu anha regarding his journey to Taif, uh, we know uh, that he was reminded with Yunus. He was reminded of Prophet Yunus uh, when he ended up entering into this garden under the shade and he was very tired. A man by the name of Addas brought to him some grapes. You guys probably recall it now. And the Prophet asked him, uh, who are you? Uh, 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 he said, Ana Addas. I'm Addas. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from a place called Nainawa, a town called Nainawa. 
بلد العبد الصالح يونس بن متى ذا تاون اوف ذا رايتشس مان يونس جانا ذا سان اوف متى عداس ستارتد هاو دو يو نو هيز ا بروفيت انا ام ا بروفيت سو هير از ذا بروفيت واز انفايتد تو ريمبر يونس دونت جيف اب ناو ريمبر ذات ذات واز ذا تريب وين هي واز ثرون وذ راكس اند هي واز بليدنج صلى الله عليه وسلم يو ار جيتنج ذات So Yunus don't despair. He can't despair. People who work for Allah, people who do da'wah, they can't give up. They, you cannot give up. Even brothers and sisters in Islam, the, 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 one of the stories which mentioned in Surah Yunus is the story of Noah, Nuh, alayhi salam. Imagine Nuh spent 950 years giving da'wah. 950 years giving da'wah. طيب how many uh, uh, accepted his da'wah uh, there is a narration that says 80 but the uh, يعني the, the close to authentic is 40 40 something imagine 950 years the ratio is 40 huh. 40 <laughs> that is how many got on the ship with him got on the ark with him ف Uh, why why are we saying that because your job and my job is to give da'wah uh, and that is why there is uh, uh, so much emphasis uh, in surah yunus in chapter 10 uh, regarding the subject of al hidayah uh, guidance that guidance is not in your hand uh, 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 you know, guidance is in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, your job and my job is to convey, but whether they accept this message or not, that is their call. Uh, that is Allah's decision and, and, and their call. And Allah is going to guide them based on what they have in their hearts. But my job is to excel in conveying this message. That's what I need to do. إن عليك إلا البلاغ إن عليك إلا البلاغ ما على الرسول إلا البلاغ A messenger and a prophet is only required to convey Also there is so much emphasis on, on Surah Yunus regarding the hereafter that you're working for the hereafter You shouldn't call it quick brothers and sisters in Islam uh, uh, I'm telling you this ilm conference inshallah Uh, is going to treat these psychologies of, of, of despair. And we need to replace that psychology of despair with the psychology of what? Of hope. How? How? The Prophet told us. He told us when, when he was given um, uh, the command of the angel of the mountains to destroy his enemies. What did he say to him? No. I want their children. I want their children. I, I hope that out of the loins will come children who will say La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah Likewise But how are you going to get their children if you will die? Raise up your children You raise up your children to work on their children You prepare the, your children to invite their children You're getting that Ah, uh, brothers Brothers, you don't give up You don't give up Uh, the second psychology, which is <laughs> uh, something that really, really hard uh, 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 breaking psychology, because unfortunately many uh, people who are associated with the work of da'wah uh, did it. The second psychology is compromising. You give in. Don't give up. Don't give in. Yeah, you don't give up, but you don't compromise either. وَلَا تَرْكَنُوا إِلَى الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا فَتَمَسَّكُمُ النَّارِ Don't even incline to the, 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 the people who are on falsehood. Don't. Don't go and, and, and say, okay, I have to be with the LBG so that uh, they will come and... <sighs> no, don't do that. Don't compromise your principles. You're the last man standing for the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
فلولا كان من القرون من قبلكم أولو بقية This verse is there ينهون عن الفساد في الأرض You are on the truth You have the truth The moment that you begin compromising Then there is no hope for people to be guided You can't compromise You have to stay firm And at the same time by the way you stay firm uh, uh, Without you know Subhanallah sometimes uh, The people will come and say Okay you, 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 you're in the truth where, where, is your, where is your God Why doesn't he help, help me Why doesn't he, he help you Well, if he chooses to help you, to help me, he will help me. <laughs> I, I don't command Allah to tell me what to, to, to do. You know, I can only invoke him and, and supplicate to him and beg him to help me. But if Allah wants me to go through that, I will go through that. قَالُوا يَا نُوحُ Look at this. This is in Surah Hud. قَالُوا يَا نُوحُ قَدْ جَادَلْتَنَا فَأَكْثَرْتَ جِدَالَنَا فَأَتِنَا بِمَا تَعِدُنَا إِن كُنْتَ مِنَ الصَّادِقِينَ Nuh, you've been debating, you've been arguing, you've been talking. We're tired of this. Why didn't you bring the punishment? If Allah chooses to do that, then uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Uh, uh, and it was revealed to Nuh that no one else will believe ya Nuh. In Surah Hud, this is all in Surah Hud. No one else will believe Ya Nuh. Does this mean that you compromise Ya Nuh? That people are not accepting the guidance, so let's tweak it. We're losing membership. So let's say, let's bring music into the masjid. Let's bring mixing into the masjid. Let's bring LBG into the masjid. Huh? La, la, la. Uh, brothers and sisters in Islam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells you that I was made to see nations following their prophets and messengers to Jannah on the, on the night of Al-Ma'raj. Look at this. فَرَأَيْتُ النَّبِيَّ وَمَعَهُ الرَّحْبِ I saw some prophets followed by nine people. But imagine nine individuals. وَرَأَيْتُ النَّبِيَّ وَمَعَهُ الرَّجُلُ وَالرَّجُلَانِ And I saw some prophets followed by a man or two. ورأيت النبي وليس معه أحد. أنا saw some prophets going to Jannah with zero followers. If it was about numbers and masses, we would have what? Well, let's tweak the message. Let's make it more a little bit appealing to the people so that the people are attracted. لا, you don't do that. Don't incline. Don't. Don't. Uh, again, brothers and sisters in Islam, I am encouraging you to join this conference. Please make it a success. Uh, I want each one who watches this uh, uh, broadcast to at least bring along or, or pass on that message to another 10 people. Imagine that. If, if we get maybe uh, a thousand watching this, uh, imagine if each one of you can bring 10 individuals uh, or pass this on to uh, another 10 uh, uh, Muslims who may be interested in attending this conference so they can learn uh, about the psychology uh, which uh, they must adopt. Uh, uh, instead of giving in, they must be steadfast. The last psychology, brothers and sisters in Islam, which chapter Yusuf addresses is don't be vengeful. So you're not going to despair, you're not going to give in, but you can't be aggressive either. You cannot be vengeful. Don't even try to break even at these times. Don't. I'm telling you. Do like Yusuf. Do like Yusuf. You see, Yusuf was oppressed by everyone. But at the end of the day, brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, 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 made everyone he came in contact with become a Muslim, become a believer, because of his character. Brothers and sisters in Islam, we will not be empowered as believers on the land, in the land, unless we get empowered in the hearts. 
first. And that empowerment have to happen during the time of vulnerability, the time of weakness. أَلَمْ تَرَ إِلَى الَّذِينَ قِيلَ لَهُمْ كُفُّوا أَيْدِيَكُمْ وَأَقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَآتُوا الزَّكَاةَ There are people during these times when Muslims are vulnerable, they are weak, and they are just in the work of da'wah and so forth. They, they want to do the attack. No, no, no. We can't be vengeful. We cannot be vengeful. Be like Yusuf. Imagine this. Be like Yusuf. The Prophet did like Yusuf. And Allah given him what Yusuf received uh, on the day that he conquered Mecca. When he said to them, what do you think I'm going to do to you? I'll do to you like Yusuf did to his brothers. Imagine that. Brother. So these are the three chapters, brothers and sisters in Islam. The conference is centered around. The conference, aim, authentic ilm mission, is centered around these three chapters so you will come imagine to new jersey you will bring your family educational weekend uh, you will interact with the speakers and uh, you will meet uh, uh, you know uh, another muslim family another muslim uh, brother another muslim sister meeting another muslim sister and and inshallah all of these good things will happen uh, if you sign up for the conference www khan uh, Khan is, is, is for conference, uh, dot org, uh, brothers and sisters in Islam. So please help us out by uh, 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 spreading the word around, inshallah. So those are the three psychologies. Uh, probably this is going to be a, a one volume by itself, inshallah. Um, inshallah, I wanted just to uh, initiate again the Maqasidic uh, Tafsir. Uh, every Monday, inshallah, we're going to start uh, doing this again uh, at 6 p.m. Uh, mountain, which 8 uh, central, uh, uh, eastern, uh, 7 central, and uh, I believe 5 o'clock uh, Pacific, uh, inshallah. Uh, so please, uh, brothers and sisters in Islam, uh, uh, come and join us. Uh, it's only a month now. Uh, we need... Uh, uh, more people, please, if you can, get the word out, spread the word, please, uh, brothers and sisters in Islam, all these brothers who are on the broadcast, and I know a lot of people watch these videos afterwards uh, when they are recorded. Uh, uh, put your name in there, inshallah. Uh, so please uh, help us out spreading the word around of this conference, inshallah. Uh, ta'ala. We have brother Ibrahim Adamu. We coming all the way from Texas, mashallah. Inshallah, we look forward to having you, Ibrahim, inshallah. Uh, make sure that you meet me, please, Ibrahim. Uh, subhanallah. Uh, uh, we just about to call and ask about the conference. Yeah, that's the conference, please. Uh, let me uh, play that video again one more time. Uh, so this. Remain steadfast as commanded. Authentic Ilm Mission presents Three Days Ilm Conference Tales from the Scripture Friday, September 2 to September 4, 2022 Plainfield, New Jersey Renowned speakers Dr. Bilal Phillips Joining live Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq Sheikh Karim Abu Zaid Sheikh Abu Usama al Zahabi. Daniel Haki Kaju, Sheikh Ibrahim Zidan, Sheikh Ukasa Kamini, Imam Ibrahim Al Huri, Sheikh Haris Ghafoor, Ustad Najib, Bazaar with Islamic books and clothing and more, food area and more stuff for kids. Please join us Friday, September 2 to September 4, 2022, Plainfield, New Jersey. Please visit for more details, www.ilmcon.org slash Plainfield. Here it is, guys. Please help us out, spread this word. Uh, 
Uh, again, the uh, the idea behind the conference also is to uh, you know bring in uh, people who have not compromised. You know, we're not claiming that we're perfect. So please don't misunderstand that. Uh, don't try to. Uh, we're not perfect. We we we'll probably have some mistakes here and there. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, uh, uh, يعني, uh, purify our intention. Uh, but we're going to bring speakers who have not compromised, nor they are associated with people who compromised or institutions that compromised. Uh, Insha'Allah, I look forward to having you. I'm trying to... Um, uh, Brother Abu Sufyan, Insha'Allah, he did a great job with the promotion. May Allah reward you, Brother Abu Sufyan. Aim, hashtag aim, guys. Abu Sufyan idea, hashtag aim. Hashtag aim. Hashtag aim. He, he, he thinks this is a great idea to spread the word. Uh, Insha'Allah. Jazakumullahu uh, khaira. Insha'Allah, bi ta'ala. We'll see you once again uh, Thursday. Insha'Allah, we'll try to come live Thursday night uh, as well. Insha'Allah. Uh, we'll go back to Monday and Thursday. Jazakumullahu uh, khaira. I love you all for the sake of Allah. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from all of you. Uh, السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. حي على الفلاح. Remain steadfast as commanded. Authentic Ilm Mission presents Three Days Ilm Conference Tales from the Scripture Friday, September 2 to September 4, 2022 Plainfield, New Jersey Renowned speakers Dr. Bilal Phillips Joining live Sheikh Uthman ibn Farooq Sheikh Karim Abu Zaid Sheikh Abu Usama al Zahabi Daniel Haki Kaju Sheikh Ibrahim Zidan Sheikh Ukasa Kamini Imam Ibrahim al Huri Sheikh Haris Ghafoor Ustad Najib Bazaar with Islamic books and clothing and more Food area and more stuff for kids Please join us Friday, September 2 to September 4, 2022 Plainfield, New Jersey Please visit for more details www.ilmcon.org slash plainfield